And yes, I used to get man. I used to get man. They were calling my line. Now look at me in the house of God. What am I doing? Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, Jessica B. I am Jessica. And hi, if you're a new subscriber, then you could have been doing something else, but you here watching me. Just gonna be the best five minutes of your life. Just to let y'all know, okay? So today's video, it's on your past and like what you could have been. Cause you know, when you go through them hard times, like bruh, I'm out here serving God when I could have me a man. I could be rich. I could be slaying. I could be living life. Like, there's a lot of things. Like, I've had this and I keep, it kind of reoccurs. I'm trying to kill it, you know. You don't want to live life thinking about what could have been. God's always like, look, I've got better things planned for you if you just hold on and stop focusing on the past. And, like, the main story that most people talk about is Lot's wife. And when that girl, she leaned back. She leaned one time and the woman got turned into a pillar of salt. Like, looking back will just, it will cut you, it will kill you. You'll cut yourself from God, you'll cut yourself from your blessing. All that God has planned for you just from looking back. The main one is obviously being single and being like, I'm out here serving God, trying to be pure, trying to be holy, but ain't no one romancing me. Or your 19, 20s, early 20s looking, you know, feeling very lonely. Because I'm not going to lie, the sun's out. You want to be out there with Bay. You're looking at your past thinking, yes, I used to get mad. I used to get mad. People calling my line on the bus. They'll be hollering me. On the train, they'll be hollering me. Now look at me in the house of God. What am I doing? I'm just here to encourage you today that you sh the whole looking back thing, it needs to end like right now because it will spiritually kill you and you'll lose focus and before you know you'll be like oh my gosh I, I don't even have a relationship with God anymore because I'm just so carnal minded you know the spirit is willing but the flesh is weak like in your spirit you know you shouldn't be craving these things you shouldn't be craving man you shouldn't be craving money you shouldn't be craving um certain types of lifestyles flesh is weak and God knows that that's why he asks you to cast your cares upon him because he cares he cares that you're feeling heartbroken he cares that that you're feeling lonely and he wants to restore that relationship back with you it's like forward looking forward looking not past looking easier said than done i'm not gonna lie like you know it's easier you know you're i'm i'm living la vida loca right now but when you're in that trial at that moment it's like hmm so there's this book this little book that i have from my grandma hold tight grandma and it's a scripture in hebrews 11 verse 1 and it says faith is being sure of what we hope for and certain of what we do not see got, like it says in the bible um have faith as small even if you have faith as small as a mustard seed like god can move mountains god is a, not a god of confusion like he knows what he's doing with your life and you've got to have that faith even if you really can't you can just see blank god in his head is got a masterpiece and he's the author and the finish of your faith he knows the beginning and the end and, and you know in your past or what you've done in the past could have got you further but you don't know what god has saved you from like there's many a time where i'm like god you know i could have been doing this i could have been you don't know what god has saved you from literally like one little change in time of you doing your own will and not following god's will could have changed everything in psalms 145 verse 18 to 19 it says the lord is near to all who call on him to all who call on him in truth he fulfills the desires of those who fear him he hears their cry and saves them we've been saved already salvation has been given to us not many people accept or receive it so just be like praise the lord that you've got some sort of hope the lord is near to those who call on him in truth so don't lie like god knows what's in your heart and it's be like god you know i know i'm single god i know i have no money in this low page just talk to him how you talk and communicate because god likes communicating with people that's what i've learned if you come to him in honesty i don't know i'm looking at my past thinking i could be making money out there doing internet this scamming or you know going out there in clubs making money i don't know what it is that you could have been doing a blessing sometimes you've actually got to be over spiritual like sometimes you could be like oh the world is so big and bad and scary oh the devil no the devil is real the devil wants to still kill and destroy he actually wants to take your life <laughs> and you've got to put on your spiritual eyes and just look and see hmm 
I really want to be out there gallivanting. Okay, God will be like, okay, go, go, it's fine. <laughs> like I said at the beginning, look what happened to Lot's wife. Pow, salt. That would be you. Sometimes we get a bit too selfish and you think, okay, yeah, right, God wants me to move on, my future, my life, what I'm gonna do. It, no, it's not all about that. Like, he's talking about advancing you, yes, in your personal life, but what about your spiritual life? Who are you helping? There's two about guidance. If the Lord delights in a man's way, he makes his steps firm. Though he stumble, he will not fall, for the Lord upholds him with his hand. And that's Psalm 37, 23. 24 exodus 15 to 13 in your unfailing love you will lead the people you have redeemed in your strength you will guide them to your holy dwelling life god wants us to be in heaven with him living holy living righteous like look at all god's done even if it's one little thing he's making your future a way he's making a path for you to be you know great stop looking at your past now it's april it's nearly May, come on, let's just get forward thinking. Stop looking at what you could have been, where you could have been, what man you could have been with, where you could have been going. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please make sure you like and subscribe, share it with someone. It's just a little short encouragement one, nothing too long. Um, let me know if anything I've said you might want me to go into deeper because I can do that. Okay, take care guys. Bye.